Tulisema hii handshake si mzuri. Ndio sasa wanajua hii handshake iko na maneno yake. Na tunajua hii handshake ndugu yetu baba baba hapo anatamia kujipanga for 2022 lakini tumemwonea IT. Hii handshake inakuja to collapse. We have seen the handshake is collapsing because even MPs led by member of Embakasi East Babu Wino Asha sema hii anche kama haina pesa kama haina value tutatoka kwa anche sisi wengine atuko tulikuwa tunaona anche hiyo ni ya ukarapati ya kujipanga kuomba rais 2022 hata sasa hivi tunapoongea the country should move in a united direction but our the reason the anche is collapsing are two things they have built the walls and they have destroyed and burned the original bridges Let me tell the country the original handshake yenye sisi tunatambua ni ya 2013 between president Uhuru Kenyatta na William Ruto. Hii handshake nyingine hii handshake nyingine ni bonobo. Hii ni kutubeba ufala. So we want to say the handshake these people confuse the handshake and the handshake. So we want to say if the right honorable prime minister will want to contest in 2022 for presidential elections Let him do it in an honest and fair way. Kenyans will decide. Awaje kutumia jina ya rais, awaje kutumia jina ya serikali. Hata akikuja nje kalisahau watu ya Western Kenya, alisahau marafiki zake kama Agna Wetangula, Mudavati akakuja peke yake. Sasa watu ya Western Kenya na dunia wale walikuwa na support yeye wajue huu mtu akifauli akifaulu atafungia kila mtu nje. So lazima tuko careful nataka niseme nataka nishukuru serikali ya China kwa sababu saa hii tunapoongea kila mkenya analaiwa 110000 the public debt is going to 5.4.5 trillion na by 2022 the public debt itakuwa 7 trillion ambayo itakuwa kila mkenya mwenye ajesaliwa atakuwa akilipa 130000 tunataka tushukuru the china people kwa sababu wameona we are on the red tap in terms of public debt sisi hatukuwa na shida na reli lakini tunataka hata zaile wanaomba deni kwa sababu wa Kenya wote wanalipa hiyo deni ya china na inchi za ngambo hiyo railway kama itakuja in future lazima ipite hapa Eldoret ipite Nandi iende Vihiga iende mpaka Malaba ile inatoka Naivasha ikuje ipite Bomet iende mpaka Sondu iende mpaka Kisumu Tunataka ile pesa inaomba na serikali the project should be distributed across the country so that every Kenyan even in Turkana when they are paying the debt they should pay knowing that they are part of the development agenda of this country so mambo ya ofisadi tumesema tunaunga mkono lakini isikuwe ni njia moja wapo ya kutumia kisiasa na mimi kama mwenyekiti wa multi agency against the fight corruption in the in the senate as the chair justice legal affairs committee the DPP and DC and ESCC walikuwa wametuambia watashika watu mpaka leo imekuwa kipindi <laughs> they should tell us how many corruption cases are they prosecuting imefika wapi pesa ngapi zimerudi mali ya wakenya imerudi lakini wacha kukimbia kwa magazeti kuandika story mingi and i think even as we go into the after the recess tutaita hawa wanaochunguza ufisadi waambie wa Kenya hii mambo yote waliandika kwa magazeti kuanzia hapa mpaka South Africa ilikuwa propaganda ama ilikuwa ukweli kulikuwa na mambo ya ofisadi na tusiweke propaganda kwa projects ambayo siko katika Rift Valley kwa sababu tunataka tutoe tuchukue kwa sababu ya anche kiende sehemu nyingine ya Kenya so sisi that is the country we support and we want to assure the president and the deputy president our full support in serving and service delivery to this republic aya sisi ikifika 2022 sisi kama jubilee kwa sababu nimeona watu wengine wanasema oh jubilee nataka kupasuka oh sijui kuna chama inataka ifufuliwe oh sijui kuna chama fulani inataka kufufuliwa we want to say as members of jubilee even as we call up for parliamentary group meeting of jubilee party jubilee is more intact than ever before because it was built on solid foundation of one kenya one people one nation and it will never break so wale ninaona i think there is kuna wakora fulani wako kona tio jubilee makawa ngenyika 
Oh, kuna chama inataka irudi. Oh, kuna chama inataka kurudi. We want to tell them to believe more intact. 2022, majaliwa mwenyezi mungu. Na naigwa rais amesema. Yeye wengine tuta support as the sole presidential candidate of Jubilee Party in 2022. Na majaliwa mwenyezi mungu na wa Kenya wote. The fifth president of the Republic of Kenya is His Excellency, the Deputy President, Dr. William Samoeg Chilchil Arapu. Kwa mapenzi ya mwenyezi mungu na kwa ruhusa ya wa Kenya, ndiyo atakuwa raisi. That is the way we want this country to go.